Hey guys, it's Melissa and Aaron. Hey everybody. And there's all this stuff going on right now with Ebola and midterm elections and blah, 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 blah. But honestly, none of that stuff really matters and all pales in comparison to some of the bigger things that are actually going on right now. And one of those big things is this continuing drought in California, which they're talking about metering private wells. It's gotten to the point now where they're these cities all along the coast are putting up uh, tattletale apps for people so they can drought shame their neighbors. So you have people like this guy, mm, drought shaming. Actually, this is a broken water main or something. That makes sense. But other people leaving their sprinklers on, they'll tweet out their address and try to get hate thrown their way. And this guy here actually makes videos of neighbors who leave sprinklers on at night and the water leaks down to the sidewalk. And in this video, he actually put the wrong address from what's in the video. But I mean, these people are going to get $500 a day fines up to 500 bucks a day for this kind of stuff. And none of these people who are drought shaming, I mean, maybe this one really angry guy here who is talking about the broken water main, which obviously they're there to take care of. But I mean, nobody's standing outside of Nestle at their plant outside of Sacramento sucking 80 million gallons of water a, he a year off of Sacramento to sell it, you know? No one's drought shaming all the CAFO lots. Beyond that, you have something else that's actually going on. And it's been documented by several people, one of which is the Harp Report. He has done some really good work to show how this drought is engineered, how the weather is being manipulated. Something they've been able to do for decades now, and people are still trying to argue that that's not happening. If you've ever seen the movie Chinatown... There's lots of corruption and definitely money to be made from creating a drought, selling water to people in drought conditions, and furthermore, crop insurance and betting on the weather with weather derivatives has become a big secret market for those at the top. And this guy here, the Harp Report on YouTube, he has shown extensively how they are manipulating the weather off the coast of California to keep this drought going and have been doing so for months and months now. And now it's this record-breaking drought, right? Let's just, I'm just going to play a little clip of this video. Okay, it's uh, October 22nd, 2014, and there's um, a whole lot of hidden geoengineered aerosols going in west of California. And this is strictly to maintain the California and Nevada drought. There's this small postage stamp area of heavy chemtrail aerosols sprayed right at daybreak. And that's not the only area they were spraying. But this, uh, these vertical bars here hung together all day today. Do you see that? And by evening are basically uh, on the California coast. These ones here are designed to not only stop the storms in this area, but also to hold this uh, powerful jet stream flat because these clouds are trying to uh, coil up into a low pressure and then move into California. These, these aerosols here and here are designed to maintain this high pressure. And that's just one example of one video that he did. But he's actually done a whole series, as you can see over here, multiple videos, I think there are you know, six parts on how they used HARP on an island off of Baja to kill Hurricane Norbert. He mentions multiple times in here that it's this Isla, Isla hold on. Isla. Me. Isla Guadalupe, I'm probably saying it wrong. Off of the coast of Baja, it's the HARP transmitter on that island. And then somebody from Metabunk came and tried to argue that there is no HARP transmitter on this small island. Somebody down here actually put, for what it's worth, I tried putting this on Metabunk, but it didn't make it through the administrator. I was actually shocked as I figured they'd have something on this. So Metabunk likes to debunk anything having to do with any kind of person talking about weather manipulation, chemtrail phenomena, any of that stuff. They, they've been on our videos before. They love it. Even though it's been a pursuit of the military since for <laughs> decades and decades, for Even sure. it's on record. A it's major stay during the Vietnam oh, War. Oh, big time. It's ridiculous. Okay, it's on record. It's, pfft, come on. So he's talking about this harp transmitter off this tiny island off the coast of Baja. And I decided to actually go find this island and look for what he's talking about. So I'm going to zoom way out here first. Okay, so this is to show you. This is the isle island he's talking about, this little island right here off the coast of here. 
I've got this place marked. So we're going to zoom right in. All right. So first of all, there's one main road, as you can see right here, that goes across this entire small island. And there's an old airfield with one airstrip. And so I just came down on this island. I came down to the bottom, and I just followed this road and tried to see what I could find. Right about here is when I noticed something. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little further. There are these grids here laid out. Can you see that? With lines going through them. And right here you've got three. Three of these little postage stamps with grids. They sure do look like arrays to me. I don't know what you guys think because they're definitely not farming anything right there. So there's three of them here, here, and here. You see that? And then as you go down here a little bit farther to the old airstrip here, see the old airstrip? There's three more here, here, and here. Now, what's important to note about this is if you can see the date up here in the corner, this is from May 12, 2013. If I go all the way back to 2005, there's nothing here, okay? If I move forward, 2006, nothing here. 2007, nothing here. And the next time they took picture, 2013, bam, you have these here, here, and here. These were also put in sometime in that time frame because going back, again, here's this same area, 2005, there's nothing. 2006, nothing. 2007, still nothing. 2013, and suddenly you have them. So when that guy says there's a transmitter here, I'm pretty sure this is what he's talking about. Unless you can tell me what these postage stamp grids are. I mean, they look like every radar array I've seen pictures of. It's incredible. If you watch the guy's video, he gives a great explanation. But what's really unfortunate is Ken Caldera and the other leading geoengineers have admitted openly in their AAAS presentations uh, for government science and everything else at the Council on Foreign Relations that the geoengineering that's being proposed and is de facto going on can cause droughts. And while you would hope they'd want to make it rain for the benefit of everyone, Unfortunately, it's a society where no good crisis goes to waste, and they really know how to make money off of broken eggs, broken farms, and we may be seeing right now what an intentional uh, byproduct product drought is from the real weather modification that's going on. Because I think we can all agree that whatever is going on, it is not the official story we're being sold. It never is. And something is just wrong, and a lot of you can feel that. Something is wrong. And it's not just the weather in California. It's the weather, period. And unfortunately, there's nothing that would stop anyone from being able to engineer. There's no rules on it right now. Any rogue player can do it, as we've been told over and over again. So when this guy does a six-part video showing how these things are broken up and what's going on with this, and talks about transmitters on this small island, and then you have people arguing, there's nothing on the island. There's definitely something on this island. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I can't explain what that is, but I, it was obviously put there not that long ago, and it definitely looks like some kind of array. So you tell me, but don't you think it's a little bit strange that there's all these clouds constantly forming off the coast of California, and none of them have any water. you got to watch his recapping of the radar. It's just, it's mind-blowing. It'll make you think of it in a whole new way. Okay, now this is really amazing. This is proof of the heart downburst killing this hurricane. This is Hurricane Norbert, and this is the heart transmitter, and this is Baja, California here. And if we look at the vertical velocity map, we can see at 5,000 feet, what do we see? The oddest thing in the whole world. This is the proof. Uh, here's Hurricane Norbert being split. Here is 15,000 feet. Wow. This is proof of the harp downburst. Uh, red is rising air, rising air, falling air right down the middle of a hurricane. How in the hell does that happen? 30,000 feet. Rising air, rising air, 
descending air right in the middle of this thing. This is the core of the hurricane right here. And this descending dry air from the harp transmitter right up here explains why the water vapor map is showing uh, this dark, dark zone right here. This is the dry air being pressed down by the harp transmitter right in the core of this hurricane. So by Sunday, September 7th, this hurricane will be pretty much blown apart because, you know, it's so close to the harp transmitter now, they're going to hit this full power all night long.